Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, welcome back if you're not. If you are a lover of all things beauty, luxury, handbags, and fashion, you've come to the right place. My name is Cece and welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about my Hermes journey. If you watched my recent video, I talked a little bit in a few videos about Hermes. Is Hermes worth it? My two recent items that I purchased from Hermes, my story about whether or not I found a local SA from Hermes to establish a relationship with. Is is my relationship, relationship or Hermes, Hermes journey, journey over, over before, before it even started? started? Now, here's why. Before we get into it, if you haven't subscribed already to this channel, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below so you never miss a video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram as well. Share it with someone who you think might enjoy. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into now, it. So Hermes is a brand, and I know that there's some scrutiny recently that Hermes is facing. Their practices of requiring consumers to purchase other goods and withholding certain items in order to pressure consumers to purchase other items that they may not want or need. We know the story with Hermes is typically you have to build a spend history with them. You have to meet a certain spend threshold before they will allow you to purchase one of their quota bags. Now, their two quota bags are considered the Hermes Birkin and the Hermes Kelly. Both of these handbags have been known to be the investment piece. Any handbag lover would want to have an Hermes Birkin or Kelly in their collection. That's what people think. I don't know if I agree with that. Let me know. Comment down below. I know many of you out there are handbag lovers and aficionados like I am, but does that mean we have to own a Birkin or a Kelly in our collection? I used to think that the Chanel classic flop was the holy grail bag, but boy was I wrong. Apparently it is now the Birkin and Kelly and I'm seeing them all over Instagram and social media. What I often wonder though is how are people able to afford these bags? How are they getting their hands on these bags? Not only are they pricey, but Hermes requires you to build up that spend history before they're even willing to offer you one of these bags. And it has to be offered. You can't ask for it. If your sales associate thinks they know your style, they might randomly call you on any given day and say, I have a bag I think you might like. It could be in any color combination, any hardware combination. You don't know what you're getting. And I've also read and heard that if you turn down the item, the quota bag that they are offering you, you could potentially risk your chances of being offered another quota bag in the future, particularly one that you are interested in. Again, these are all, you know, word of mouth. We don't know if any of this is really true. None of it has really been confirmed by Hermes or an Hermes sales associate. I would love the opportunity to interview an Hermes sales associate. So if you know of anyone, whether they are current or not, I would be happy to keep their identity anonymous. I would love to pick their brain a little bit more on Hermes. If you are an Hermes sales associate or you've worked with Hermes in the past or you know someone who works with them that's willing to share the secrets, comment down below, reach out and let me know. Back to why my Hermes journey might be over before it even started. As you know, if you've watched my recent unboxings, I have been venturing out to different brands. I like to purchase things and diversify my collection. I don't know that I have the commitment that it takes to invest in one brand and one brand only, which is what Hermes wants you to do in order to offer you a quota bag. As I mentioned, you need to build up that spend history, which means you need to buy Hermes and only Hermes for at least a year before they will offer you a bag in order to build that spend history. If you have $30,000 that you're willing to drop at the dime, go for it. I don't. For those that do and are well off and are able to drop twenty dollars to $30,000, you'll probably be offered a bag much sooner. Me, on the other hand, I have to build up my spend history slowly. I am a hardworking woman. While I do allocate some funds monthly for spending, it doesn't necessarily add up to what Hermes requires. And that said, I want to spend my money on things that I really want or need, not something that I'm forced to buy. I do like Hermes items. I like some of their jewelry pieces. I like some of their handbags. I like some of their shoes. So I just don't know where this is going to put me. I recently purchased a piece from Cartier while I was on my travels. I'll link that for you guys here if you haven't already watched it. And I also unboxed a recent item from Alaya. So again, these purchases are going to get in the way of my Hermes journey because it's all money that I'm not spending at Hermes, which is what the brand wants you to do. I'm okay with taking my time and building up my spend history 
If it takes me two or three years, that's okay. I'm not in any rush. Truth be told, I'm not even sure what quota bag I would purchase or want. If my SA asked me tomorrow what color combination I'd want, I wouldn't even know where to start. I've thought about the Togo leather for sure on the Birkin because it is a little more casual. You can wear it more as an everyday bag. And if you haven't already watched Mrs. Leva's video, she does a really good job going into detail about her Hermes journey, what's next, why she chose the Birkin that she chose, but I'm just not sure. I love the Birkin. I love the Togo leather. Don't know that I would go for black, maybe black with gold hardware. After doing my color analysis, which I included all the details in my Instagram broadcast channel, if you don't follow me on Instagram and don't already subscribe to my Instagram, broadcast channel, definitely check that out. I found that I am a warm autumn. And what that means is that the colors that complement me the most are colors of autumn. So orange, browns, creams, caramels, those types of colors tend to complement me a lot more than say black or white. Black and white have always been colors I've gravitated towards. As you can see, I'm wearing brown today. And I guess because the color of my hair and my skin tone and everything, it is a color that complements me a little bit more. So if you haven't already taken your color analysis, I would highly recommend it. It has helped me so much. It's also helped me kind of pare down and make better decisions when it comes to items that I'm shopping for, be it clothing, shoes, or makeup. The color analysis will actually actually showcase colors that complement you in all ranges. So nail color, makeup colors, hair color, clothing, shoes, accessories. As a warm autumn, the colors that complement me most are the colors that you would normally see in nature. That includes olive tones, greens. I include a color analysis chart here for you guys. It also helped me with deciding what accessories complement me the most. And yellow gold tends to be my best accessory. And I I've noticed that yellow gold looks best on me more so than rose gold, silver, or white gold. So I'm going to be continuing to purchase and invest more in yellow gold pieces and warmer colors because it just looks best on me. While that helps me rule out a lot of options I would have otherwise purchased, it does make it difficult for me when it comes to bags. You know that I tend to be a black bag girl. I love black because it pairs with anything. It's a neutral color. I think it looks sophisticated. I will still buy black bags. I will still wear black, even though it may not be my top color of choice. The color analysis isn't to say that you can't wear other colors. It's just to say which colors look best on you. I don't know. Would I get a black Birkin? That's the part that I struggle with. Or should I opt for that caramel gold color that I also know is a highly sought after color combination and might be a little more difficult to come across, which means my Hermes journey could take much longer than expected. The other thing I've toyed with is is should I go the vintage route? If you haven't already watched Jamie's video from Lux Petite, she also shares her Hermes journey. She is on the Hermes pre-spend journey, but in the meantime, she's also ventured into purchasing a vintage Hermes piece. She recently purchased a Box Kelly bag that is absolutely gorgeous. I'll include her video down below for you guys. The bag was vintage, so it was in a little bit of you know, need of some TLC. She sent it to the bag spa and they took care of it for her and she now received it back. So she includes her video walking you through the new bag with the replacement parts and what they did to kind of give that bag some TLC. I know Alyssa Lenore also did something recently and she shared her experience with her Kelly. So I've been thinking a little bit more about opting for a vintage piece just because you don't have to play the game. It's a lot quicker and sooner. And there's something to be said about those vintage pieces. I don't know if Hermes's quality has gone down as it has with Chanel. I know vintage Chanel has become quite popular because there's been a lot of concern over Chanel's recent quality production issues. I don't know if the same stands true for Hermes. I haven't heard that there's been any quality issues with their newer pieces, so I think we're okay there. I think for me, it's more so less about playing the game and just getting your hands on something that you want. And I kind of love the idea of sending it to the Hermes bag spa, getting it treated and taken care of. It's great for the environment. You're being more conscientious. You're upcycling. There's something special about a vintage piece. My Chanel classic flap is not a vintage per se, but it is from 2011. So it's a little bit, you know, older. Gosh, it's more than 10 years old now, come to think of it. Hmm. 
She's going on vintage. I was able to save money. I found that the quality was better than the newer Chanel pieces. It was an actual perfect condition for the price that I got her for. I hope that I could get the same thing with Hermes, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Is my Hermes journey really over? Should I pull the plug? Should I continue and just know that it could take me several years? Or should I opt for a vintage piece? I'm curious to know what you guys would do and what you guys suggest. Let me know in the comment section. Say hello. I love interacting with you guys and chatting. Definitely follow me on Instagram as well, where I post daily. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.